So we want to make a salad today using pecorino cheese. So I've grated up this pecorino cheese, and now I'm going to put that in a bowl. And then we want some other cheeses. And here, this is a lovely cheese that I also had in Tuscany. This is something called marzolino, and it's a very young cheese. And I want to take that label off now. The name marzolino means March, coming in March, because this is when this cheese is made. And you see how nice and soft it is. And so for this salad, I want about a quarter of a pound of each of the pecorino types that I'm using. So I'm just going to cut it up. So there's our marzolino. And then, because this is a recipe that came from a friend of mine in Tuscany, we're going to add not pecorino, but we're going to add some Swiss cheese. And this is Emmentaler cheese, another quarter of a pound. And I'm just going to cut that up. You could use all pecorino if you wanted to, but I think this makes a nice combination. So a little bit of the Swiss cheese, another quarter of a pound. And then I like to use with this salad something called taleggio. And taleggio is a cheese that comes from Lombardia in the north. And it's a full fat butter cheese. And it's wonderful. It ages about 40 days. And so you see it has this rind on it. So we want to take the rind off of the cheese and then just cut that up another quarter of a pound. And this is going to be our total cheese mixture now, the four cheeses. Just want to mix it up with your hands or two spoons. Now we want to melt that. So we need to put this into a little bake dish. So here's a baking dish. And I'm going to add just a drizzle, just a drop of olive oil right in the base. Because after all, these cheeses have a lot of fat in them to begin with. So just brush the base of a baking dish, and your oven is on at 350 degrees. And now you put the cheeses right in, get them all in, and just spread them around. Just spread it around evenly. We want to add to this some black oil-cured olives. So just sprinkle that over the top of the cheese. That's all there is to it. Now this goes into the oven. We want this to melt. It's going to take, oh, about five minutes. So now we need some really wonderful, fresh-looking greens. And here we have a mix of mescolanza. These are chicories, different types of lettuces, bitter lettuces that the Italians love. And you want to make sure that you dry the leaves off well because you need to put a little bit of olive oil on that now. So we don't want much. So a little bit of salt over the salad greens, just a smidge, and about a tablespoon of olive oil. And all you want to do is mix that up just to coat the leaves with the oil. Make sure you're using really fresh greens. So you get it all mixed up, and you set that aside. And yes, we have a liftoff. So it's looking beautiful, nice and melted. So take two spoons and take the cheese and spread it. It's going to be a little bit messy, but that's OK nice and warm. Now you want to serve this immediately. You see how stringy this is and how, how delicious it looks with those olives. So you want to place it in the base of your dish. And now we take the salad greens, take the salad greens, and put them right over the top of the cheese. Now this is something that you just, everybody serves themselves. You pass this around the table. You don't make individual dishes with this. You just pass this around, and everyone scoops up some of the cheese and, of course, some of the greens with that. And look at how beautiful that looks.